In this tutorial, we will be dis discussing phase diagrams. So what is a phase diagram? A phase diagram is a representation of a substance's phases according to the pressure and temperature. It describes the different states and state changes that occur at various temperature pressure conditions. Notice on the graph, on the left hand side, you have the pressure. And on the bottom, on the x-axis, you have the temperature. The regions represent the phases, or the physical states, solid, liquid, gas. The lines and points represent state changes, such as here, here, and here. The liquid gas line is the vapor pressure curve. At any point on the line, both phases are in equilibrium at, the temp at that temperature and pressure. So on this point, you have both the liquid and the gas at the exact same time. The points are the critical point, which is up here, which is the furthest point on the vapor pressure curve, and the triple point, which is down here in the middle, and it's the temperature pressure conditions where all three states exist simultaneously. For most substances, the freezing point increases as the pressure increases. So as the pressure goes up, the amount of temperature, the amount of heat required to change it from a solid to a liquid will also go up. This phase diagram is specifically for water. It's an exception. While most points go up this way, water actually arcs back. At the, at the critical point, the critical temperature is the temperature required to produce a supercritical fluid. The critical pressure is the pressure at the critical temperature. The critical temperature or higher temperatures, the gas cannot be condensed to a liquid, no matter how high the pressure gets. Here's a representation of this. In these pictures, you have two phases existing right now. You have gas at the top and liquid at the bottom. As the liquid is heated in a sealed container, more vapor collects, causing the pressure inside the container to rise. And so here's the bubbles coming up. That bubble are the gas molecules from that substance. The density of the vapor to increase and the density of the liquid to decrease, meaning that the vo volume here is spreading out and the volume up here is getting smaller. So this is more and more and more pressure, more and more and more vapor is coming up. Eventually it gets to a point where it's a supercritical fluid where no matter how hard you try, you can't put them back into a liquid at that increased temperature. At some temperature, the meniscus between the liquid and vapor disappears and the states commingle to form the supercritical fluid. Supercritical fluids have properties of both gases and liquid states. So let's try to use this gas, this phase diagram to determine for carbon dioxide, what physical states it'll be in for these temperatures and pressures. So if we take 20 degrees Celsius, which would be approximately here, maybe a little bit further down, and 72.9 atmospheres, that's here, notice it's below the 31, this is 31 and 72.9, since it's below the 31, it's going to be in the liquid state. So this here will be liquid. 50, negative 56.7 degrees and 5.1 atmospheres. That's the triple point. That means solid, liquid, and gas all exist at the same time. At 10 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere, well here's one atmosphere, 10 degrees would be around here somewhere. Notice it's in the gas phase here negative 78.5 and one atmosphere. That's going to be right on the line. That means the solid 
and the gas will exist at the same time. And then finally, 50 degrees and 80 atmospheres. It's going to be up here somewhere. It's past that vapor pressure line. So that means that's going to be our supercritical fluid. And that's how you use a phase diagram.